Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel Brooks, and I just wanted to also thank the new subscribers. Um, today I am going over briefly again because this book is fantastic. Like, I mean, I've read a lot of books, but this one is straight to the point and it's very clear and concise. And that book is The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. It was published in 1910 and it's just an amazing book. I'm going to read to you, which is very valuable. And I know that even in his book, he talks about giving the people value more value than they give you in cash value and this book does this and i feel like we are all here creators and we all want to have the abundance of life and we can because the world is abundant the universe is abundant it's made that way and it's the truth so for us to give value to people more than the cash value that we take in we share information that can affect a person's life in a positive way. And this is what I would like to do for my viewers. So I'm going to read chapter 17 of the book. And it's pretty much it's the summary of uh, the science of getting rich. There is a thinking stuff from which all things are made and which in its original state permeates, penetrates, and fills the interspaces of the universe. A thought in substance produce, produces the thing that is imagined by the thought. A person can form things in his thought and by impressing his thought upon formless substance can cause the thing he thinks about to be created. In order to do this, a person must pass from the competitive to the creative mind. Otherwise, he cannot be in harmony with the formless intelligence, which is always creative and never competitive in spirit. A person can come into full harmony with the formless substance by entertaining a lively and sincere sense of gratitude for the blessings it bestows upon him. Gratitude unifies a person's mind with the thinking mind so that an individual's thoughts are received by the formless substance. A person can remain on the creative plane only by uniting himself with formless intelligence through a deep and continuous feeling of gratitude. An individual must form a clear and definite mental image of the things he wishes to have, do, or become. And he must hold this mental image in his thoughts while being deeply grateful to the supreme power for granting him all of his desires. The person who wishes to get rich must spend his leisure hours in contemplating his visions and in earnest thanksgiving that this reality is being given to him. Too much stress cannot be laid on the importance of frequent contemplation of the mental image, coupled with unwavering faith and devout gratitude. This is the process by which the impression is given to the formless substance and the creative forces set in motion. The creative energy works through the established channels of natural growth and through present industri industrial and social order. All that is included in this mental image will surely be brought to the person who follows my instructions and whose faith not waver. What he wants will come to him through the ways of established trade and commerce. A person must be active in order to receive his own when it is ready to come to him. He must more than fill his present place. 
he must keep in mind the purpose is to get rich through realization of his mental image. He must do every day. He must do every day all that can be done that day. Taking care to do each act in a successful manner. He must give to every man a use value in excess of cash value he receives so that each transaction makes more life or makes more for life. And he must hold the advancing thought so that the impression of increase will be communicated to all with whom he comes in contact. The men and women who practice the foregoing instructions will certainly get rich and the riches they receive will be in exact proportion to the the definiteness of their vision, the fixity of their purpose and steadiness in their faith and the depth of their gratitude. So guys, if you enjoyed what I was just reading to you, that is the science of getting rich and you want to study more about this particular book and this topic, please subscribe, like, share, and I will continue to study on this topic till we get to another book. But because I think this is one of the great foundational books to growth, to creativity, to entrepreneurship, you know, and development, I think that I'm going to cover this book for a little bit, but please just stop by and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Peace.